Hi everybody, my name is Claire. I'm a certified personal trainer and welcome back to my living room. For today's exercise, we're gonna work on the squat, just the basic body weight squat and how to do it properly before adding in a few advances that help take it to the next level. And again, this is all stuff you can do from the comfort of your own living room. Now, there are a few pieces of equipment that may be required to elevate this, like a medicine ball, maybe a dumbbell, kettlebell, or even bands. But if you don't have those, don't worry. I've thought of a few ways you can implement stuff you have at home to elevate your squat. But we'll start with the body weight squat and we'll move on to a couple variations just to keep it exciting. Now, oftentimes when people squat, they don't sit back and their knees don't stay behind their toes. Now, we're looking for that with the knees. We're looking for our, toe, our knees to stay behind our toes. And a lot of people lean forward too much and their knees are gonna come forward in front of their toes. Now they're off balance and they're not working the right muscles. We sit back and those knees stay behind our toes. That's proper form. So if you're struggling to get that butt back and to keep those knees behind your toes, which is very often for beginners, I recommend sitting back onto either a box, a bed, a table, any sort of platform that sits at about the 90 degree angle with your knee. Now having somewhere to tap, like a box, or a piece of furniture helps people realize that they're not supposed to be coming forward with their knees. They're supposed to be coming back with their butt, tapping and standing back up. Now, when you're squatting from the front position, you should be taking uh, a good look at your knees and the way that they are uh, moving as you go up and down in your squat. What we're looking for is those knees to not cave inward as you squat up or squat down. Don't do that. That's an example of what not to do. If you find your knees are moving in and out, really think about pushing away, kind of pushing at the insides of your knees as you go up and down, and that'll keep them from caving in. You want your knee to be lined up with that pinky toe and not lined up with your big toe. So really think about keeping that knee on that outside of your foot as you go up and down. If you're still struggling and your knees are still caving inwards as you're squatting, and if you have a band, this could help aid in sort of a reminder of pushing your knees outward as you go down to keep those knees from caving in. If you have a band like this, what I recommend, go ahead and put that band right above your knee on your quads, and as you squat, think about pushing that band away as you come up and down. There's a few ways to make this more challenging, especially from the comfort of your own living room, and I start with bands. These can be purchased probably on Amazon. Um, they become uh, quite essential when doing at-home workouts. So what we do with bands, if we're trying to make a squat more challenging, is we step on the band, feet shoulder width apart, keeping that proper form. We can go ahead and tuck that band kind of up under our chin, almost like in a front position. And then we're coming down and we're coming back up with our squat. Obviously the thicker the band, the more challenging that will be. Another way to elevate your squat, especially from your house, is using some form of weight, like a medicine ball, a dumbbell, or a kettlebell. When you're doing a squat with weight, you can always hold that weight right under your chin, a little bit off your chest, just a tap. So you're not gonna be resting that on your chest, it'll be just off your chest. And then you can squat with the right weight right under your chin. Remember, get your form down right. Make sure you can do a proper body weight squat before you start adding weight or adding bands. Lastly, if you don't have medicine balls or bands or kettlebells or dumbbells or any sort of actual gym equipment, that's completely fine. We can absolutely elevate a squat using jugs of water or even the detergent or jugs of milk or the orange juice or a bottle of wine. If you need weight, I'm sure there's somewhere in your house you can find some sort of household item that you can use to uh, add a little bit of weight to this workout or to this exercise. I had these to elevate my squat. I would tuck them right underneath my chin. Keep those elbows sort of tucked in. Keep that weight off your chest just a tad. And I would squat with the weight up front. I weigh these, they're about eight pounds. Honestly, that's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, I really challenge you to get the body weight squat down correctly before you start adding weight to your front or even if you get more advanced, adding weight to your back. Make sure that you can keep those knees from going above your toes and that you're sitting back as you squat. 
as well as really paying attention to your knees from the front view, they're not caving in and really focusing on them, um, staying on that outside of your foot instead of the inside of your foot. These are just some cues that you can think about to squat properly. Again, squat down to a box, to your couch, to a table, something if you're having uh, trouble keeping that form right. And if you can, set up a mirror. Hey guys. Set up a mirror and take a look at yourself from the front and really pay attention to those toes staying forward, those feet staying parallel, and those knees from staying kind of on the outside of your feet opposed to the inside. Get the squat down right. This one is huge. You can be done at your house, but make sure you're doing it right before you jump into it or add weight. I'm Claire. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time from my living room.